welcome back to the basement. Yay! 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 Shaker! Uh, 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 Geek Show. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, welcome to Geek Show. Uh, Geek Show. Uh, Geek Show. Uh, uh, Geek Show. Uh, Geek Shaker. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh... <clears throat> We're properly. This is what is referred to as the dreaded third show. This, oh, this you know was what, really third show. You guys have been drinking that blueberry vodka lately. Our first shows have been starting out kind of dreaded third show. Vice found an awesome concoction. It's great. Vice it's- is awesome concoction. We need a name for it. Pride um, Punch. It's uh, Pride Punch. Pride, Pride Punch. Punch. It is. <laughs> Love it. It is white grape juice. Perfect. Yep. Blueberry vodka. And maybe and maybe a little dash of Sprite. A little Diet Sprite in there to make a, a bubble. A splash of yep. Sprite. I bet a, a little dash of lime would really kick it up. Yeah. Well, well it, now you're getting too fancy. It might fruit it up a little. Well, you know, so. it is a Pride Punch. Dude, that, <laughs> yeah. honestly, ding, ding, that ding, thing could not fruit be fruited up. up any more than it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is damn good stuff. I mean, I could uh, I could call my wife and have her bring me a sandwich. But or some dust pellets. One of the two. A bag of sand. And it only tastes right if a gay guy uh, buys it and brings it to you. Buys the blueberry vodka. Right. Oh, do you remember that last year? Shannon? God damn, I love this son of a bitch. Shannon guy. and I, you know Shannon and I, a great guy. we we kind of faked being gay to the bartender at the Pride Festival. I didn't know. No, 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 no. Hold yeah. it, hold it, back up. Maybe you brought me to fake it because he was like, Oh, you want some, you know, no, hey, no. sexy, and like pour, he goes, free porn. After he was free porn, he was like talking to us, we kept talking to him so he'd forget about the drink. Yeah. That little like, twink. Oh, oops. <laughs> like that. We're like, That's fine by me. Okay, that little twink behind the bar loved this bear, and he oh, didn't give a <laughs> shit. So, that was great. <laughs> loved it. Well, I never felt like a girl, like, like a, I never felt. Like a hot commodity at a bar? Yeah, I felt, like, I yeah. felt sexy. A day. slab of meat. Dude, I, I never ever drank better than I drank when Bricks was open. <laughs> right, yeah, right? <laughs> I, I would go to I would go to Bricks and I just felt like the bell of the ball. Well, listen, there's a place called Triangles that is down uh, in that area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and I, have been I don't, don't want to I don't want to put out any well, wrong ideas because a gay man my age is usually considered stereotypically to be let, somewhat successful. Well, let me just say, and that, I'm not that. That uh, I I have friends who uh, who attend there regularly and have the darts tournament. You know. I had to go in and show those gays how to throw darts, by the way. <laughs> you'd think with the it's wrist, cool. the wrist motion. You'd think it's well, natural, yeah. yeah. you got to have a stiff wrist there, to play some uh, but, uh, darts, dude. But, yeah, not, we, we learned from Lamont in Revenge of the Nerds that that's not Exactly. But, but, between but, point A and B, uh, from trails to the Republican, triangles mm-hmm. is right in the middle. So yes. we always end up but, in there. <laughs> but I haven't been pretty in a long time. But I felt pretty while I was there. <laughs> that's I how got, I call it pride life. I, I got always drink you're pretty. after drink after drink. I didn't. Charlie Rosier and I sat there. There's... They have like a display board on there where you can text messages to it and they display. Oh, yeah? In triangles, and Charlie and I were both posting things. Oh, like, you were like, right. we, It was after you went to the titty bar, It right? was after we went to the it's titty bar. always we, after the titty bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and we were posting things like, where are all the hoochies? <laughs> <laughs> I don't there, see any boobs. There was a. Uh, that wasn't the bartender just shaking his head. Yeah, he was shaking like, his head, like going, "Really?" There, there's there's a, a bar in San Francisco called the Elephant Walk, and I, I swear I, I drank this drink called the Cocksucker. It's a butterscotch schnapps and dram buoy. <laughs> I think I had about 15 of those in about 14 minutes. I'm not sure what they're trying to get I going think, on, but I still. Think if it was uh, delivered by Ian McShane, it'd be the best. Let me get this right. Have let, let me get this right. Lee drank 15. Co- the thing with that drink in San Francisco is that what you said? Just, yeah, they kept bringing them to me, and there's uh, you know that guy over there. But you can't. You have You're to. You're not about your dad. You have to put both hands behind your back and put your mouth over the shot glass. Oh, Lee, I just, just, and, Lee, I just and act like a circus seal. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I think Lee was raped in San Francisco. <laughs> I was not. It was consensual. It was fucker. a face rape. It he didn't was, kill. Exactly. It As we know, pimp. face rape and face babies not it, the same. Only if I'm asleep. It was consensual. You know, and ironically, I'm now ten percent. And gayer just from having been here today. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me let me help you. Mission accomplished. Uh, I went to and I and I suggest everyone go to this place. It's called uh, SF Asia. It's in San Francisco, and it is a, uh, a sushi bar Asian restaurant run and and owned by drag queens. Oh wow! Nice. All right. yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. So uh, this place is amazing. The food is good, but you also once an hour get a show. Now, as we all know, drag queens love to lip sync. Uh, it's like all they do. I'd like to talk to them about it. But yeah. uh, we got a different show up on the stage, up on the bar every right. time. My favorite one was this uh, this this one drag queen who looked like the hippie girls I used to hit on in coffee shops, which was kind of scary. But 
she are you was, sure they were hippie girls? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm saying now. Transformers. Uh, she <laughs> she was doing the the eye. Eye. she was doing Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh. And you know what? Most was she doing the guy and the girl parts? <laughs> she was she was doing the whole thing, and uh, so it was uh, every now and then I fall apart on that lyric. She would pull at her hair. And pull some of her hair out of her wig. You know, like she was a radiation victim. Uh, Every gross. now and then I fall apart. And she'd look at it. And, oh. <laughs> and then she, she pulled out her so, false boob. So, <laughs> it was so disturbing, yet at the same time fascinating. I could not look away. It was just wonderful. But I took my friend Chris there, who was very homophobic at the time. Because I, I figured baptism by fire, yeah, perhaps this would be the way to go. It. And uh, he, he came away just fine with it. <laughs> and, then, and then he took him to Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Right? <laughs> my, my, my favorite thing about gay bars are the titles. Like Triangles, I think it's a funny title. Yeah. But my favorite one in Athens, Georgia was called The Bone Jiggler. There's just no innuendo. There's... Uh, there's the bear trap in Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's true. I, I What's the one from... downtown here in Salt Lake? The trap and trap door. Well, there's, no, there's jam. Trap. Jam. Yeah. yeah, there's jam. There used to be. Yeah. That's a fun down. bar. I've been the there. The deer hunter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, the deer hunter. Uh, that one burned down? Yeah. Yeah, I no, think it burned I, down. Wait, was it wasn't awesome. smited by God by when, the tornado? No, that was the bars? sun. The that sun. Was the, sun. The, sun. the sun was one of the great Utah bars, gay or not. It, actually it was a had, phenomenal bar. They actually had a great uh, like dance floor and music selection. Good uh, good DJ, did, good music yeah. selection, and, and the, the best Long Island iced tea in the world. And weren't they the people that had the belly bus thing? The what? They, was that them? Or like they they had like uh, ten dollar draft uh, ten cent draft nights or something ten cent yes. belly buster draft what? nights yes yes, yes. yes. Yeah. I said yeah, ten dollar no. draft night no the sun the sun no, was that's, an amazing that's, 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 that's the depot that's the depot <laughs> their, their, long, their Long Island iced tea was like this tall and four mm-hmm. bucks oh and, my god yeah. I just go to the trap on Easter the Easter <laughs> bonnet parade. Oh, and the just, Easter bonnets, and, and I'm yeah. just like, I'm like, just mix me something up, honey. I don't care, <laughs> and, and, honey. And, and, and it was just like. I'd get this uh, black concoction, just like (laughs) black concoction. (laughs) You'll you'll never go back. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Is it called the Apollo Creed? Uh, God, we're good at this. All right. Uh, Well, and it it is uh, it is June. It is uh, officially uh, Pride Month. Just because that socialist bastard in the White House. Yep, he has declared uh, Gay Pride Month, and uh, our our friend uh, Greg Three PO Johnson is here. Yay! Yay! Here to represent bring the bringer of the blueberry vodka love. (sighs) Yeah, thanks for thanks for coming, sir. Thank you very much. You are a dream, sir. (laughs) Are you the one that brought it on the mediocre show? No, 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 that was uh, the guy from the Pita Pit down in Utah County. Lee murdered him. <laughs> <laughs> murdered him because it made Lee take a nap in the movies. <laughs> I no, I, I actually listened to that episode of Mediocre Show. I think I was awake because you well, can hear me. You, you can hear me through the whole damn show. <laughs> you were, you were, con- you were in this amazing state of consciousness say, and unconscious. I've never we'll seen ISO bloodshot. A fugue state. Yeah. A fugue state. I, I, I think I was actually straddling dimensions at some point. <laughs> Uh, let's see the rest of the panel. Jeff Weiss, film critic to the world. Uh, you can read his stuff at Parallel Universe on MSN. <laughs> Give me that ring. Give and, me the ring. And see his uh, partner in movies and marriage. We're married now. Uh, Jimmy Tries. Martin, uh, slugmag.com. They're both on the big movie mouth off. Comcast, Channel One, Utah on Demand, SLC Alternative in HD. <laughs> <laughs> beware our power. Beware Green Lantern's might. <laughs> if, if we get divorced, I'm taking half <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you like action figures. <laughs> action figures and, 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 and the uh, concrete it's omnibus. It's Star Wars bed sheets. I'm, <laughs> I'll cut them in half. Oh, I got those. Anyway, oh. uh, let's see. Lee George Cade, Grimleys.com. Grimleys.com. You can also find us at uh, the uh, Craft Sabbath first Sunday of every month at the Salt Lake Library and downtown at the Salt Lake Farmer's Market. And uh, with Grimleys, we can make... Anything. So if uh, you're seeing all these superhero movies and you want uh, your kid's face on a superhero or Green Lantern or, or oh, anything cool. like that, we can do it. And we start our customs at about 40 bucks. And uh, the big one this year has the custom Hellboy that we do. Oh, uh, yeah, we that's we good. can put your face on a Hellboy or you know Batman, whatever you name it, we can do it. So. Cool. Uh, children's educator. Well, he's, no, va- no. he's vacationing Man, right now. He is do the not ma- see officially not representing Officially? Education. Because it's For three a months. cruel summer <laughs> after <laughs> all. He is uh, the half master of the pub quiz at Lucky 13 every Wednesday night. Still play Shannon Burns. That's right. Half master. 
Pay no attention to the man behind the camera. He is the other half master. <laughs> Brian Young, BigShinyRobot.com. Come watch me make fun of him. Buy my books. <laughs> yeah, buy his, his books. books. Yeah, we're going to talk about your books first thing here. I'm going to review your book and Green Lantern. And, of course, uh, the uh, designated driver and producer. That's there right. Shoot Will the camera. Stop that. He's just cut it out. Can't it's help not it. even sexy anymore. It's no, it's weird. Creepy. No, oh. I think it's sexy. Do it again, Tony. Just do it to Shannon. Do it, Tony. Just to Shannon. Do it to the. Who should I do it to? Shannon. Shannon. The camera. camera. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> now do it to Shannon. Re- remember, ladies, he has a van. Yeah. <laughs> so we did it to each other. Can I do it to the camera? So that's no. Sexy. That is triple T. Does it work? No. 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 When, uh, when, no. when Tony like, does it, it impregnates them. When you do it, it rapes them. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> Tony impregnates them and Shannon aborts them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just go after it's how we roll. Oh, we don't even need a coat hanger. That's drink. That's uh, an abortion joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's the na- okay. new name and for the course, drink is the coat hanger. The coat hanger. That's <laughs> oh. Oh. It's pride punch, you bastard. And Carrie. <laughs> and, of course, oh, our oh, venerable Mr. host, Jackson. Mr. Kerry Jackson. Uh, welcome to my basement. Uh, X96.com, Monday through Friday, 6 to 10. Uh, that's all I ask because... Uh, uh, the rest of the day. Because you know, <laughs> yeah, you can listen uh, whatever you want. I don't care. I, I understand. Do listen whenever I, I want. understand. Uh, you know, Sean Hannity's on another station. Right. You can leave a tent. You know, go listen. <laughs> anyway, uh, our friend Brian Young, who is uh, uh, the uh, the man, your behind, friend. Well, he is. He is the. <laughs> what? He is. The hell? What? Was that Tony? Tony? That was not me. That was me. That was Lee. <laughs> <laughs> did you really think it was me? I wow. really did. What a I was, dickhead! I was doing my Tony voice. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. I thought it was me. Cockiness <laughs> comes from Lee all the time, but from Tony, I expect. Better. This ah. is uh, this is our friend Brian Young, who uh, is a uh, also a writer. Oh, you blog for Huffington Post, you liberal. And uh, <laughs> I am a commie. He is. Uh, these are two books that are out now. And uh, where can we get these on Amazon? What is it? Uh, they're on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Uh, Doctor Volts will be carrying them. Oh, good, good. Uh, right. So you can go in and Doctor Volts and buy them. Store if I can't buy them at Walmart on my grocery trip, I'm not going to. Now, I, can I, I get them on my phone? Uh, <laughs> this yes. this I found very entertaining. It has uh, a front cover, a back cover. And there's, Bar- code. Many, and there's pages many in pages. between, Weird. so I highly, highly recommend it. This one, uh, this is called, uh, we'll start with this one, Lost at the Con, which uh, you describe, as it says here, a, a blend of fictional gonzo journalism and geek culture. And yeah. it's about a, a reporter who goes to a convention. Yes. He goes to... Uh, Sci-fi conventions. He goes to a fictional convention that's modeled after Dragon Con, which we all know Ooh. is like... Mardi Gras for Comic Con. It's the sexy or, okay. one. I love it. Yeah, they're like geek orgies and stuff. That's one we should go to. Huh? See, I need yeah. to go back because the last time I went, I was fourteen, and I'm sure it's changed. A I'm whole going bunch. this year, Jimmy. You should come. Really? Yeah. All right. So, nice. uh, so there's uh, there's this one. We're gonna have to read these and review them, Brian. Okay. Uh, then this is uh, Man Against the Future. That's it. seventeen short stories, science oh. fiction, fantasy, all that kind of stuff. And there's horror. Ro- there's thriller. robots, action, suspense, and thrills. Yes. Any Draculas? There is a vampire story. I know. I don't want. I want Draculia. <laughs> well, you Just can pretend. Him. Pretend he's Dracula. No, no Draculia. Draculia versus Candelabra. I want, uh, I want Blackula. But now, uh, and now, uh, Shannon asks a question: Are these available for his uh, phone or reading device? Yes, of some kind? you can get them for uh, your Kindle app for your phone. Uh, there should be. I know. I think Nook has an app for your phone. What What reading app do you have for uh, your phone? I believe I can get. The Kindle on my yes. phone. Yes. In fact, it, it is available currently for the Kindle. The, there you go. There, you can buy them directly from me, and I'll sign them if you're into that kind of thing. Or you can go to Amazon. If you buy them from me and you buy a physical copy, it's, it's 15 for Lost at the Con and 10 for Man Against the Future. But the digital copies, it's 5 for the book and 4 for the short stories. And we don't have to read anything. No. <laughs> like... As long as we buy it. I mean, yeah. we, we read the book that you wrote, but we don't have to deal with your Does, <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Does either book say the word Star Wars in it? Uh, yeah, and you know, <sighs> I gotta tell you. <laughs> I'm sure this one is. Tell you what. Well, all right, let me, I'm just going to flip through. It just says Star Wars over and over and over. How is that a book? That's a weird Wait movie. a It's really I interesting. These are just nude photos of George Lucas. Did you write this <laughs> shit? I got to tell you. The character doesn't know anything about geek culture, so I had to write it from someone who didn't know, the perspective of someone who didn't know anything about Star Wars. So that was like writing real fiction for you. Yeah. Yes. That was a it tough was. one for you. I've seen a lot of other stuff referenced, but I that'd haven't be, found Star Wars. That would be like me writing a football just, book. I just see Star Wars. Do you, you have an index in the back? No, I can find some Star Wars. I can. I can oh, I'm, find I'm sure, sure Star you Wars can. Wars. I always just thought it would be funny if I, the, if I flipped through and just found Star it. Star Wars. Is it true that you wrote this? Um, 
on in, a, in a large deserted uh, uh, resort in the snow, uh, and you murdered one of your wives. What? Yeah, it was it was The one. Shining. It was The Shining. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. All Carrie, work the, and no play makes Brian. The reason why boy. you didn't find the reference is because you didn't go to the pages that were stuck together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Buy his book. Goddamn, he wrote a book. That's yes. all I got. He say. wrote two books. Yeah, it was accomplished. I, I was going to buy it on Kindle, but then I was afraid you were going to sign my Kindle, and permanent in your cross. And what it was going to say was Star Wars. This is all I got to say. <laughs> Star Wars, Lee. Brian, Star Wars. It's a Star Wars. You, would, I, you, I, would you start doing that with your autographs? It's a Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, my Star God. Wars. Just Star Wars. Just Star Wars, whoever it is you're signing it to, like if it's Jeff, right? Star Wars, Jeff, Star Wars, love Brian. Okay, I'm doing, well, by now, like when this episode airs, I'll actually... Have uh, physical copies. Uh, the physical copies, I'll have some... We're doing something at Dr. Volts. We haven't figured out what yet. Mm-hmm. It might have already happened. Who knows? <laughs> Can I be but, a press agent? If you want to be. Oh, fuck. Because I, I talk well, you up. Um, you know I do. And bring, and him, bring him to movie nights. Too. I'll, I'll bring him to... I, w- I won't be here for the next two movie nights because I've got oh, a con right. I'm appearing at as a guest and then Comic-Con. Can I be your private dancer? Nice. Dancer Dance for, for money. money. I'll be doing what you want, want him to do. Um, I will... If anybody from the Geek Show who buys it, I will personal... Even if they order it online, if they're not local, I'll personalize it. It's a Star Wars and your name. I just want you to oh. kiss it. That would, lipstick be on. that would be great. I'll do if if that's what they want. Okay, I gotta say what I want. This is all dedicated I say, to a sale. Um, I probably read ten actual books, like book books, book books. Cat in the Hat was in great. buy his goddamn books. What else are you gonna do with twenty five? You're bucks? gonna you're gonna like it. It's funny. Like there's. Well, uh, you're biased though. There's, I specifically yeah. want. To, <laughs> that's what I was. I specifically too. want to read uh, Lost at the Con. It's it it is very. I mean, the idea for it was. What would Hunter S. Thompson think of Dragon Con? <laughs> and I don't know. And it he was really shot everybody. it was the snary <laughs> stuff actually. And there is a there is a snary panel. That's it, the Harry it, Potter uh, Snape love triangle. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a is there a mention of Guar? No. Because Guar always seems to be at fucking Dragon at, Con. At, at any point, do you have an orgy taking place with a bunch of furries? There should be. No. All right. No. But oh, sequel. That's right. Yeah. I. You know, I've had a couple people review it and say, like, do you have another one planned with this character? Oh, good. And I, no, uh, I don't. Well, maybe but he could be your, maybe. he could be your Fletch. Maybe. There you go. I'll send him to Jason comic. Let's make a movie with Chevy Chase. Anyway, buy his book. Support him. because he's Do it. Fucking and you're not, so buy his book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, At least have enough. someone else live your dream. That is good enough right there. Uh, speaking of a Star Wars, let me show you this. I uh, love this, it. This will be uh, uh, partially visual, uh, visual, but there's uh, some reading involved. Par- visual. This is a little something that my wife picked up at Williams and Sonoma. Oh, of course. Oh, what? What? <laughs> yeah, Williams and Sonoma. Yeah. Now, you know, I think my mom got mine at TJ Maxx. <laughs> you, you truly <laughs> know. No homo. You truly know that uh, <laughs> Geek's gone mainstream when you can pick up a Star Wars lunch back. Hey, come uh, on. Lunchbox it, it was on sale. Was it $522? It went from 20 to 14 Jesus. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a, a small lunchbox. It's, uh, it. it's kind of cool. Uh, but what it is, is they've done a line at Williams-Sonoma of Star Wars-related sure they have. cooking items, believe it or not. They have aprons and all this <laughs> This, I thought, was cooked <laughs> first. But then Jim let <laughs> me know. What they are, let me open them up here, is they look like cookie cutters, but they're specifically the crusts off of your sandwiches, but they're shaped like Star Wars ships. Like, oh, that's wow. the Millennium Falcon. That, there's the Millennium Falcon, so your spoiled kid won't have to eat his crust off of his He won't eat his crust, but he will get his ass kicked at school. That's right. There's a Darth Vader's TIE fight. Cut off most of your sandwiches. There, there is no, it actually, it's really... Quite Close. perfect. So the it Wonder is, Bread. It's this, really uh, good. The, the kid better make sure that, that it's not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with too much jelly, because with these uh, tie interceptor wings, the, <laughs> this, this, the, the bread would get too soggy. God, you're such a bitch. I love yeah, it. The wings would just collapse on themselves. <laughs> it's true. But I, can't, the... I can't abide by a sandwich that doesn't physics. You know how you fix physics. that? You put butter on the bread <laughs> before you put the peanut butter and jelly, and it creates a... Yeah. Uh... Ooh, Green Lantern! Yeah. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> But on the on the tin on the on the lunchbox, there's this little uh, you know piece of paper attached to it that says uh, sandwich cutters and lunchbox. Yes. And and here's what it says. This is Jimmy made me read this, and I'm like, oh my god. Read well, it like George Takei. My mom read it to me for my birthday. Oh <laughs> my. Read it like Takei. Like Takei. Yes. That's crossing uh, uh, the. I don't uh, care. Do it. Cannon. Oh, Takei. 
Should I read it like George Lucas? Uh, read a it lo- like Admiral Akbar. <laughs> a long time ago in a galaxy. All right. It's a trap. A long time ago in a galaxy far away, rebel and imperial forces waged war for control of the galaxy. Through sandwiches. In the fa- it, <laughs> we're headed to sandwiches somehow. Okay. Yeah. okay. How do you go from here to sandwiches? You'll find out. Well, obviously. So shut Kessel your run. mouth, Lee. Yeah. No, you no, shut no. your mouth. No, you can. Do that. That's why. We're, that's why I'm doing this. Sorry, All right. Lee. Uh, let's see. Uh, waged war for control of the galaxy. In the famous Battle of Yavin, the Millennium Falcon. This one's in there. It's in there. Attacked Vader's TIE Fighters, <laughs> allowing a young rebel pilot, Luke Skywalker, to. <laughs> no, no, that was wrong. Oh, the TIE station gets the power conveyor. That's how Mark Hamill sounds nowadays. It's fine. <laughs> Again. Just need to remind everyone, we're headed to sandwiches. Okay, okay. All right. No, no, just keep going. Uh, Trust me. Uh, To uh, destroy the Imperial Death Star. (sighs) To celebrate the Rebel Alliance's victory (laughs) over the evil empire. Yay! I made PB and (laughs) J's! Yub yub. (laughs) Ooh, teeny! Is this what is this what they were going to stand like cut out Han's flesh out of? (laughs) To celebrate the victory over the evil empire. The Jedi Kitchen Council. Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot no. about this. I totally forgot about the Jedi Kitchen Council. <laughs> Commissioned specialized sandwich cutters. This is the new special edition that comes out next Cut year with the brain on Blu-ray. <laughs> of these two famous starships, today, young Jedi Special can use these tools be. to transform their favorite sandwiches <laughs> into <laughs> high-energy fuel for lunches. Vader, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Rest I do not like. As swift and precise <laughs> as life lightsabers, <laughs> the customized cutters are fun and easy to use. Unless you they, get it stuck in your head. And then they tell you how to I, use them. But I have a feeling like who's right. This is a god. I hate, you know what? I, I you hate know what? my job so to, much. I went to college for this. Oh, yeah. Jesus. I, put, I put, hate put, Daniels having to write that. Call. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I hate to brag. I chewing on a brag. corn dog in, in the recognizer. <laughs> I'm glad that your wife loves you enough that she got you this this, no, she, uh, she this sandwich cutter. Hilarious. My wife wants the Williams Sonoma and got me the hand and carbonite refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. You, you pull you pull down on his hand and ice comes out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, the Jedi Kitchen Council. I have to say, I do have the apron and the spatulas and. Of the, Are you a member molds. of the Jedi Kitchen Council? No, I haven't. I, I have really ever did. stepped foot. And a William Sonoma, it's the girls. I did not want to hear about your sex life. (laughs) I'm still confused. What's a William Sonoma? Oh, okay. Uh, He was a... Hold on, hold on. Let's let Greg Greg explain it. (laughs) (laughs) It's Uh, next to Pottery Barn. You you spend $30 for a spatula. No, shut up. Greg's going to explain it. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's not. Please, go ahead. It's it's just, it's it's (laughs) high-end cooking stuff. It's expensive. (laughs) So they have Star Wars stuff and high-end cooking I know. Stores. Lucas is a whore. We all know this. Hey, hey. hey. Star Wars fans largely have a lot of disposable income. I'm not just shopping disposable. That's how I'm going to get it all. (laughs) (laughs) I got to say, your Lucas is the best of your impressions, I think. The Lucas. I like it. Uh, While we're on uh, Lunchroom Adventures. Lunchroom Adventures. A, uh, A senior prank. Two high school students. Oh, I thought it was old people got into a staged lightsaber duel during their lunch period at Westfield High School. With real lightsabers? <laughs> well, you know. No, she mm. guns. They're against mm. physics, Shane. Mm. You can't curve the... Mm. Oh, that's true. That's right. They were both suspended. Mm. What's the name of the crystal? Mm. And as of this story, and this is a few weeks old, mm. will not be walking at their graduation because oh. of this. You know what? That's They'll just be floating warm. on that platform with Vader and <laughs> <laughs> Star Tours, right? That's just that's just the man bringing it down on geeks. Uh, Principal Raymond Broderick's. Broderick. They very could have easily have hit another student and got the, the, something started that was completely different. Someone could have gotten <sighs> hurt. Well, you know what though? If you get cut with a lightsaber, it cauterizes almost exactly. Instantly. I tried to explain that, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, because lightsabers are real. So hi, there, there you go. They should show up like the hi. Sith in cloaks. Are the I other would. kids walking in the graduation? Are they going to have to wear helmets too and make sure no one gets hurt? Exactly. It's like no, they're all every going story out. here about education is somebody overreacting or doing something. Well, there's uh, it's like super stupid. There's Here's your diploma. Don't fall have, down. There's schools that have honestly banned tag. I know. Oh. Because it's tag? It, 
you, you go out on the playground and say, feel bad. And what does up, it mean? They're going to let a colored be president. <laughs> <laughs> to be it? What does it mean? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Uh, the Jedi lunchroom duel. July so, is National uh, It Month. So. <laughs> You're it. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> well, the one kid's like, <laughs> I, I am. I, I'll be it again. Jeez. <laughs> so sad. Well, while we're confessing. Oh, oh. are we confessing? We were confessing? Well, sure, why not? Okay. Let's as far as you know, we were. Okay. Because you're all just as drunk as I am. Yeah. We're confessing that we're drunk and we have a podcast. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I have been watching. This is, I've been watching the new season of Doctor Who. Good for you. And it's been. I've actually been. Good great, for you. except for that pirate episode. Have you been? I like the. Pirate. I kind of like That's because you like everything that's got shiny stuff that. That's. Has but he he knows, like, but, 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 if it's covered but, in plaid, he likes it. Yeah, but but it's and it's well known that Brian hates all things pirate. <laughs> Yar! I hated that episode, but I've loved every other. I one. think they've all been really, really good, and and I'm not familiar with all of the backstory and all that. No, and I haven't had to be with this season. No, Neil it's been episode very good. Was great. So I could start Fantastic. watching this season, not watching anything in the past. And I think I would so. Probably I think like you could it. actually watch. Any of the uh, seasons since Shannon Christopher Start. Eccleston because I I had experience not, I have had a long standing hate me too of Doctor Who yeah in fact the other day um, we were home it was uh, Memorial Day weekend nothing on TV and we'd watched every Star Trek on, movie on Sci Fi twice mm-hmm. um, and Charity's like eh, I'm gonna turn on the Netflix and I want to see if there's any of those old Doctor Who yeah, um, more, Doctor and I was just like um, could you not. <laughs> Could you not do that, please? <laughs> right, and, um, but she did it anyway. She turned on an old. That, that's what we're they yeah. turned on. An they do old, it anyway. They, I know. They, they turned on an old. She turned on an old Doctor Who with Tom Baker, oh, and I was just shit. sitting there, and I'm just like, oh, oh. oh God. make it end. Oh. And it was just like, I'm like, you need to turn this off because it's like you build up a lot of goodwill with me with the Doctor Who, <laughs> right? And you're but just you're about to kill it, it. and it was right, terrible. Yeah. It was just terrible. And then, see, was, that's, that everything was, was made out of paper mache. Exactly. That was my first exposure to Doctor Who when yeah. they ran it on PBS. And, uh, you know, and you got home from school. You're Saturday just like, night. what is yeah. this trash? And it was crap, and I never watched it. But this this new stuff they've got going is, is great. Is really quite good. I, I have to ask Shannon, um, because I'm, I'm getting caught up on Torchwood. Mm-hmm. Is, is Captain Jack my favorite Captain Jack, by all means? Mm-hmm. Uh, is, is he a Doctor Who character? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it's, it, it was introduced on it's in an Doctor anagram. Who. He was in... Okay. Uh, Oh, I he, know Torchwood's name. He was in uh, Christopher Eccleston's season. Yeah. He was in the last four or five mm-hmm. episodes of in, season one. And he showed up in... Uh, David uh, Tennant. David Tennant, uh, too. I think the end of season three or four. Now, for those who don't follow it, uh, Torchwood is a spinoff of Doctor Who. It's and so bad. And it's coming on stars, and that trailer and is bad he's, as it, it, well, secret organization created by Queen Victoria to hunt down alien artifacts. Yeah. And, yeah. and, 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 what it's on, and it's to defend the Earth. And right. defend the Earth against yeah. aliens. It's no. on Netflix? Yeah. Yes. Nice. And it is on Netflix, and uh, from what I understand, the stuff that may have been edited out in the United States is back in it, because it is really racy, and the language is pretty strong. I've always maintained Doctor Who is, is a kid's show. It really I is. I don't think it is anymore. But uh, but Torchwood is definitely, definitely not. grown. My, and my daughter... The lead character's an omnisexual. He'll f- well, he, he hasn't. He hasn't. Care. He hasn't yet, but everybody else is. Okay. My <laughs> daughter more. stopped watching this season. It was too intense for her. Really? Yeah. yeah. My son still likes it. He's down for every episode, but my daughter's just like it's too, too scary. scary. But uh, the I'm new s- the new season's coming on Stars, which means you'll have to pay. So for have you seen Bill the trailer? Pullman. I saw the trailer, and the hot cop is she's so hot that the gap tooth doesn't even bother me. Well, so in Whoa. the trailer, basically, what's happening is uh, Bill Bill so Pullman something happens where for twenty four hours nobody dies. Like everybody just stops. Everyone's dying. immortal, right? And um, one of the one of the characters is Bill Pullman, who looks like I guess he's being executed uh, as a he was a serial killer or something. And um, they execute him. He doesn't die, and he's like, "Well, the you, you tried to kill me. Out. You got to free no, me. No, yeah, you executed me. You got to let me out now, <laughs> right?" And it looks like he starts running for office or something. <laughs> and it, yeah. And it just looks really cool. I'm really, really excited. And apparently, there will be some uh, man on man or waka waka well because it's on stars. <laughs> if he runs for office, then Bill Pullman. It, so this is a prequel to Independence, Independence Day. Day. Yeah, it looks right? great. Well, and I, I think you can watch it if you've never watched Torchwood before because there's only two characters: uh, Captain Jack and Gwen. And Gwen, yeah, Gwen Cooper. Gonna, Gwen Cooper is going to be on it, 
And um, I think I'm really excited. I love Torchwood. Um, you should get it on Netflix. Watch it because there's a part where a, it's fun. Where, it's where fun. a half hot black cyborg, cyborg lady fights with a pterodactyl. Yeah, punches out a para- <laughs> pterodactyl. It's great. My, son, my son's watching it. He's half watching it. He's playing a video game. He's half watching it. And he's like, he's making fun of me for watching this Doctor Who spinoff. And all of a sudden I start screaming because he... Captain Jack runs into the room. He's fighting the cyber woman and he starts spraying her with something. And somebody's like, yeah, what are you doing? He's like, gravy. barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> and then he calls the pterodactyl. And for five minutes, it's a pterodactyl awesome. cyborg fight. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All of all of uh, all of the new Doctor Who and all of the Torchwood, all of it is on Netflix instant stream. Yeah. Oh, good, and good, it's just nice. good. It's okay. I'll, I'll pick it up. And check stars because I think creepy, it's gonna be great. Creepy fairy episode of Torchwood. It's yeah. it's good stuff. All, good. all I know, all I remember about Torchwood that Shannon told me that uh, sold me was when they either blew up. Captain Jack into a bunch of oh. pieces, put his body in a cell, and then poured it full of concrete. In yeah. the Children of Earth. Well, children of Earth. Watch, yeah. Really uh, good. If you, just, really if you good. want to get excited about the show, Kevin <laughs> on Stars, uh, find that, because uh, they always do the, these really short seasons yeah. mm-hmm. on uh, you know on BBC, especially for Torchwood for some reason. It would be like six or seven yeah. episodes. Oh, perfect. And um, get Children of Earth. Because oh. this was what finally sold me. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool that... You know, the, the cyborg lady is punching the pterodactyl. But, um, um, that's a euphemism, you know. Right. But uh, <laughs> that <laughs> is great. So what, just... what, what is he? Because, I mean, I'm... Well, he's the face I'm, of Bo. I'm most of the way through the first season, is, and they, is he they a ask time him, lord or they ask no, him who no, he is. He's, he's a, a human. Lord. There's, he's... This, there's this lady from the future, from another planet, wants to know who he is. He's like, I don't know. He's no one can read future, his mind. And there's some, something that happens to him where... Um, he can't die. Yeah, he can't die. Well, Something no, it was like, uh, that it was, was revealed the end, in it Doctor was the, Who. It was the end yeah. of season one of Doctor Who when Rose took all the power of the TARDIS into her uh-huh. and it fixed Is that everything. A euphemism too? No. Okay. It fixed everything that happened in the episode, and he died. But it resurrected him. But it made him this fixed spot in time that he could not die right. because he because when they first entered, mm. when they talk about him on Torchwood. They're trying to figure out who he is, and they're saying the only record of him that exists is a, a World War II fighter pilot, American fighter right, well, pilot. Well, that's what he dresses like. And that's what he dresses like. But then there's a flashback where it looks like the American Civil War, and I can't figure that out well, either. He's, so, well, he's also a time traveler. Yeah. No, so Okay. It's, it's really, Wicked. really good. And it, it's, it's a it's, Scottish it's, actor who came to the United States when he was like eight years old, so he's, he's really good. He's like uh, not crazy Tom Cruise. Well, and this, uh, <laughs> this uh, Torchwood season is <clears throat> it being produced in America. Uh, it's uh, four stars. It's it's. I don't know if it's going to be on in Britain I, or I, not. I think yeah. it will. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. going to be something. Uh, I think it's a co-production. And then they've Maybe got the other, the animated show. Well, then there's this, uh, Eliza Dushku. Why would you have Eliza what? Dushku in an animated well, series? Canceled. <laughs> she will. Well, <laughs> it's it's on the internet. Uh, a Torchwood spinoff series. Because stars did doing. that with Spartacus, so that makes sense. They would do it with us too. And uh, so she is. She is going to be in it uh, from. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's it's titled Torchwood Web of Lies. She will be front and center in the short form story, which will also have voice appearances by uh, Captain Jack. Uh, let's see, uh, Gwen Cooper, Jane Espison, who worked on Dollhouse, Buffy, BSG, and Torchwood. The Tick is penning the series. That's along a, with that's us. a good pedigree. She, she, she yeah. went over. She went over to the UK Torchwood. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. And uh, uh, along with uh, co-writer uh, Ryan Scott, web series will be made up of 10 episodes, three minutes each. That and, means it's uh, 30 minutes. And the first installment will launch uh, before uh, Torchwood Miracle Day debuts. Nice. So uh, you'll get that. All right. So I, I can't wait. You know. All kinds of absolutely nice. All absolutely. kinds of awesome, dirty genre stuff. Could, could not endorse Torchwood more. That was a show that, because you, your wife long on record of being a doctor who apologists yeah. to a certain degree and and I give her a pass on that because I love charity she's she's adorable well, I love her too but I but, still but I, I, I just <laughs> couldn't stand after the Tom Baker years and the other Doctor Who series yeah. and I tried the new show when it first started up and I kind of got bored with it but then Torchwood I, I just watched it one night oh I was it's bored, great it's, and I love it I, I can't get enough of it alright cool let's take a break okay everybody refresh in your beverage okay after, after these messages, messages we'll be right back retardus 